Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest tuners video where I show the best fully upgraded tuners DLC cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check that original tuners DLC video, but otherwise let's see where the new vector falls into that list. And well, the Calico's reign at the top of the tuners class has come to an end after about three weeks because the vector just pips it by two tenths of a second. So the Calico's best lap was over a second quicker than the Jester RR, but now the Vector is a further two tenths quicker than the first car to break past the one minute three barrier with a one minute 2.9. And I think it's fair to say that what Emperor's other high performance car, the ETR1 is to the Supers class, the Vector is to the Tuners class, being all about cornering grip and having no top speed. We will see what the top speed is in the top speed testing video later on today, but it's actually one of the worst in the tuners class. So if you're gonna use this car in races, you really do need to know your racing lines and be maximizing the grip available to you. If you're not confident in your racing skills, you'll likely still be quicker in the Calico. We are seeing the comparison here now between the Vector and the Calico, and they're fairly evenly matched most of the way through, but towards the end of the lap, the Vector starts to pull away with its better cornering ability, and then the Calico basically just makes back all the time on the short straight, because it really likes the bumps as well, so something to keep in mind there. Now, unlike most other cars in the game, all tuners DLC cars need maximum suspension upgrades in Los Santos Customs since they all get a slight traction bonus from doing so. But like we've seen with other cars in the past, like the Asbo and the Retinue Mark II, that traction bonus is made even better on cars with high levels of camber on the wheels, which is where the wheels tilt outwards. Incidentally, that's why I didn't think much of the Vector when I raced it on Project Homecoming. It's actually the crazy camber that it gains from maximum suspension that gives it the extra grip around the corners and the lap time to get the number one spot. So if you want your Vector to perform at this level, you need to apply maximum suspension and have that crazy camber on the wheels, which isn't the most visually appealing to some people, but anything less than maximum and its lap time would be slower than the Calico. Keep in mind also that we still do have cars to come, including the Sultan RS Classic in a few weeks, which is also all wheel drive, just like the Vector and the Calico. And if it shares any performance that's even similar to the regular Sultan Classic and based on the handling files, it looks like it will, it really does have a big chance to be the new number one. With the Vector being so close to the Calico in terms of, tops, in terms of lap time, and having significantly less top speed, even though it's the new number one, it's not an absolute must buy straight away. And if you're struggling for money, it's probably worth waiting. We've only got another four drip feed cars to come, especially if you already have a Calico because you'll still be competitive using it, even up against a Vector. Having said that, it is nice to have two cars that are usable at the top of the class now. Hopefully any future additions in the drip feed all land at this sort of lap time too, but we all know what Rockstar are like, and it's very possible we'll just get something like the Sultan RS Classic in a few weeks that will just go a second quicker per lap and, you know, demolish it again. So yeah, keep it in mind, but as of right now, the Vector is the number one for the tuners class. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon. I'll become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.